feels like the end of an era. The last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us overnight. We're all grown up, moving along. We're all finding where we belong. You never know when we'll say goodnight for the last time. So while you're here, I'll waste no tears on wishing we had more time. And I hope you don't ever lose that beautiful smile. I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go, but I just want you to know how much you mean. To me, how much I still need you. I can't let my heart is broken. Won't leave these things unspoken. I know you'll have to leave. I just can't believe. That yeah. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for coming to this video. Thank you for coming back to check what I have today. So I appreciate your presence. Those who are new to the channel, can you consider subscribing? and hitting on the notification bell so i'm just from the market yeah the first thing that i did i went to the market i came back in the house worked out and i've already taken a shower done my morning routine and i thought let me bring you along to the rest of the activities of the day so i want to show you what i got from the market as well as the shop yeah so yeah most of the times i do restock so that's why you find me doing a bit of um grocery haul and something like that because i just buy what i need at the moment and that is it so i hope you stick to the end i hope you like the video i hope you get to learn a thing or two so to those who are new to the channel my name is dorcas i'm a mom of two and i'm also a stay at home work from home mom i create content that resonates with me that means a lot of cooking because i love cooking we do motherhood on this channel and basically homemaking so i know if this is the kind of content that you like or interest you please hit the subscription button and now let's go to what i got from the market from this very end where we have some um this is the wow well, this is the soap soap dish oh no soap washing paste yes so i got this one a new brand that i'm trying out but it was really affordable that's why i picked it and we all know nowadays who is being royal to brands so we just take the cheapest and that is it so i also got some pocket tissues i like buying these ones in a whole packet but hakuku and azo so i just decided to buy the re the remaining ones because i needed them so i got two of them these ones were going for 20 bob each i got some foil i got some foil yeah and actually i wanted cling film not the foil i don't know how i ended up buying the cling the foil instead of the cling film i got some uh these ones i bought them from the cereal shop this is one kg of green grams and one kg of kamande if you have been an og on this channel you know we um we mostly do cereals compared to the plant-based uh protein so we we normally get the cereal ones most of the time that is because my daughter reacts to the animal protein so we prefer just making common meals and everyone enjoys that so we also got some ajab flour all-purpose flour this one was going for 200 bob I got some uh, ugari flour, one packet, that very round. At least I'm happy the prices of the flour are coming down. This one was 180. I got some saucy. This one was going for 70 shillings. also got some tissues. I wanted the tiara one, but the, it wasn't in the shelf, so I just decided to use the regular brand that I'm used to, I'm used to which is the Neptune. This one was 150 bob. This one actually lasts us a week, yeah, so every week we have to restock on tissues i got some oats i love oats when i'm making the pancakes the porridge anything about oats i love it so i got this one i wanted the one kg one but again it wasn't available so i just took the 500 grams and then on this other end i got some baby wipes tissue i'm royal to this brand i can't lie i've been using it for the longest time but i love it for the thickness and it has a lot of moisture so i got some soft care on this other end i wanted to buy some colgate 
not Colgate, pep, Pepsodent, but I ended up buying uh, Colgate because it wasn't available in the shelves. So I decided to pick the small one and I can always go back and check if the Pepsodent one is restocked. So I got some, uh, this, is, this one is for us. Then for the kids, I got them this. Uh, they, are tooth they are toothpaste as well. This one it goes from age two years to five years, so they are within that bracket. So they get to share the toothpaste. They get to share the toothpaste. Yeah. So I got this one. I can't remember the price. Yeah. So I got some wipes. Yeah, to carry uh, in my handbags. I got some milk. These are fresher. I, I don't know why I prefer fresher when it comes to milk, but I always. I uh, find myself buying this one and then from the normal market or the grocery market that we know I got some carrots these carrots were quite pricey this one was going for 50 bob 50 bob one carrot was five bob yeah so I got some bananas this one was uh, three for 20 bob I got some uh, tomatoes I got some onions and the price of onion is still high I don't know what is happening I pray that soon the prices will come down. Yeah, so I got some onions as well. I got some uh, garlic. Yeah, so th that is that about that. And then on this other end, I got some avocados. These avocados, I tasted them when I was there at the market, and they are definitely very yummy. So I got like uh, four of that. So we love avocados in this house. Yeah, and then on this other end, I got this yellow passion. Yeah, so Yellow Passion was going for 10 bob each. I felt it was a bit pricey, but well, we are here, we bought them. And then lastly, I got these tom uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, so these ones, they were quite huge. And I thought like two or three would be good for us to make dinner. So I just got these sweet potatoes. One of these was going for around for 70 bob. Yes, yes. So Hakukwa has let 50 or 100 bob. So they just had this one. And because I want to make mokimo with it, I know it will still be perfect. So I don't think there's anything that I've left behind. This is it. So yeah, I think we'll go to the next activity of the day, which is making breakfast. I'm quite hungry. I want to make breakfast and proceed to the next activity of the day. Feels like the end of an era The last time that we'll be together Might sneak up on us overnight We're all grown up moving along We're all finding where we belong You never know when we'll say goodnight For the last time So while you're here I'll waste no tears on a wishing we had more time And I hope you don't ever lose That beautiful smile I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go But I just want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you I can't lie Spoken. I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that This is it, isn't it? This is it This is it, isn't it? This is it I know that we may be farther But we will still be together For every milestone in our lives You're all grown up moving on found exactly where you belong and i know that we'll still have our ties so while we're here let's give a cheer to everything we've gone through i can't lie i'm sad to see you go but i just want you to know how much you mean to me how much i still need you i can't Unspoken, I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that This is it, isn't it?
Yeah, so this is it for our breakfast. It's looking so good. These are sweet potatoes, which I pan fried, and some arrow roots. This is an apple, and then we have the veggies that we prepare together with some mini bites. And then on this side, I have uh, some coffee. Yeah, whenever I'm taking a uh, coffee, I just take it without sugar, just like that. So this is what I'll be having for breakfast. I then I think I'll be seeing you when you are doing. Another activity, which I don't know what it is, but we'll go with the flow. I can't upset to see you go, but I just want you to know how happy I am for you. I wish the best for you. Can't my heart is broken, won't leave these things. Um, hey, welcome so much to... This segment, yeah, so I've taken a bit of time to clean and to work and also to teach my son. So this is part another part of the video. So I've always wanted to challenge myself and make samosas on my own from scratch. On my own from scratch. Yes, I know this one comes as a, as a surprise to many, but it is the truth. I've not done it before, so today I'm taking up the challenge and I want to see if I can be able to nail the recipe of which i know i will because once you have the recipe once you have everything i guess you can be able to do everything so i'll be making the green gram uh, samosas this one is just for a trial so i just decided to use the green grams so because i haven't done this on my own i'll be following one of the recipes that i found to be one of the easiest on these streets yes so i'll be following Ivy Mariga's recipe. A while back, I saw her making the samosas. She explained so well. She uh, she took a step by step on how to make the samosas. And that is what I want to follow. So, please, my people, this is something that you can also challenge yourself to do. Or anything that you want to do and you haven't done it, please take the opportunity whenever you have time. Challenge yourself and you might find yourself becoming better at it because practice makes perfect so this is the next step that i want to do and i know it takes a, a bit of time to prepare the pockets the whatever the whatever but i'll do it i'll do it because i got a bit of time it's around 4 p.m and i've already made dinner so i know i'll be able to have enough time to prepare everything so yeah so to make the pockets i'll just have the all-purpose flour and then i'll be adding in a bit of salt so I've added in the salt and then I'll use some cold water. Yeah guys, I'm saying I'm following this recipe as she did it. One night I went to sleep at the end of a long week and I thought you seemed withdrawn mm -hmm. well the truth always comes out now yours has through someone else's mouth and right now i can't move on you're telling yourself my dough is ready so the next step i want to divide it into equal sizes Me. and i can't let this go So I'm done with uh, cutting the shape. So next, I want to start rolling out the dough. Uh, you divert the blame with your self-righteous, selfless claim. But right now, I don't know who you are. Who you are. You're telling yourself it's to protect me. deep into the making of samosas but i feel like i'm doing so well at this point About me.
It feels like the end of an era The last time that we'll be together Might sneak up on us so for now Yeah, so I want now to get one circular shape So I'll just place one of my lead And then I'll cut along For the last time So while you're here I'll waste no tears On a wishing I have heated my pan And now I just want to place my rolled out dough to the pan At this point we want to separate the layer So that we get the single pockets That we are going to use And have our samosas So here, here Ivy says you get ready to burn your fingers Yeah so I'll definitely do that. I need you. I can't let my heart is broken. Won't leave these things unspoken. I know you'll have to leave. I just can't believe that this is it, isn't it? This is it. This is it, isn't it? This is it. I know that we may be farther, but we will still be together for every milestone in our lives. You're all grown up, moving along. You found exact. Yeah, so I'm now frying the green grams. You are doing so well. So I only use some curry powder and some nor cubes to spice up my green grams, and of course, salt to taste. So I'll be adding in this later. So I'll add in the green grounds. I can't let my heart is broken. Won't leave these things unspoken. I know you'll have to leave. I just can't believe that this is it. Yeah, our green grounds are ready. Let me show you how the pockets came out. Yeah, so before I show you the pockets, I want to make the glue and the glue is only the flour and some water. I guess it should be a bit thick so that it can stick together. So I'll mix until I form a paste. You'll be phenomenal. They don't even realize just what you're capable of. If I don't remember to say goodbye, I hope that's okay. So my paste is ready this is how it's looking like and guys making this paste has reminded me uh, of the days that we were growing back we were growing up back in shags i'm telling you we would make such a paste and use the paste to stick something like the newspapers yeah we would stick them all over the house those times i don't think we would even afford the glues or i don't think we knew that glues existed so we would use such a paste and then yeah, with the newspaper you just take part of the newspaper that you love let's say a musician that you love a footballer that you love a dancer that you love and you would cut along the picture and then stick to the wall using this glue i know the millennials in the house can do that the gen z is najwai hamjui but this one used to happen like that anyway if you are a millennial and you used to do this thing of sticking the uh, newspapers the whatever's in the world using the glue please lift your hand we want to see how many of us are in the house yeah so i want to show you how the pockets came out guys i almost failed on this one but i noted that i sealed the 
I sealed the edges, so it was a bit hard to separate them. Nevertheless, we got something, and this is what we have. So I don't know what to do with such a pocket that isn't even, but I guess because they are homemade, you still go with the flow. So this one is quite okay. This one is quite okay as well. So I want to now start uh, filling up my pockets. like the end of an era the last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us overnight we're all grown up moving along we're all finding yeah guys so i folded that so that it can be able to direct me on where to cut so i'll just follow those lines and cut along so while you're here i'll waste no tears on a wishing we had more time And I hope you don't ever lose That beautiful smile I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go But I just want you to know how much you mean to me How much I still need you I can't lie, my heart so this is what we have yeah this is what we have the light the wraps are so light and uh, that's how it should be guys i've already started making the pockets and there is the struggle the struggle is real but i'll do it because we are here to perfect our skills so I don't know how to explain this, but just follow along. Where you belong, and I know that we'll still have our ties. So while we're here, let's give a cheer to everything we've gone through. I can't lie, I'm sad to see you go, but I just want you to know how much you mean to me. How much I still need. Unspoken, I know you'll have to leave I just can't believe that This is it, isn't it? This is it This is it, isn't it? This is it Yeah, so guys, we are now filling the pockets and I've already started with some of the with some of the samosas already. So I just add now my green grams to my pockets. Just like that. And then I'll now seal it using my glue. So Ivy says you have to seal it completely so that it doesn't soak in excess oil when you're frying it. And then to the rest of the part that doesn't have the ceiling you just apply the glue and uh, you ensure everything is intact so i'll do a second one so you just fill up with your uh, whatever you can use even the minced meat remember but as i mentioned this was what was uh, available in the house and i got to use that so you ensure that you close that part and then apply apply the apply the glue or apply the paste then you tightly bring it over to this other side ensure there is no opening yeah there you go <laughs> One night I went to sleep at the end of a long week And I thought you seemed withdrawn mm -hmm. Well the truth always comes out 
Now yours has through someone else's mouth And right now I can't move on You're telling yourself It's to protect me So, so I want to freeze some of these samosas And I think this one is too tiny And because my fridge is not as big as well i need to preserve them in a way that they won't be occupying too much space yeah so that's why i've transferred them to this polythene bag you divert the blame with your self-righteous self exclaim self but right now i don't know who Protect me, so you hit a crucial part of me, of me, and I can't let this go. Even though you've said you're sorry, sorry, could you lie to me about me? Yeah, so this is the final outcome. I'm so proud of what I have here. This is my first time making the samosas, as I mentioned before I did this. I'm so proud of me. I can't imagine that the outcome can be this good and I'm just doing it for the first time. I'm so proud of myself. So on a scale of 1 to 10, please rate my samosas, 10 being the highest and of course one being the lowest so please give your ratings i love everything about the samosas they are super crunchy on top and then on the inside the the green grams are super delicious and they are well flavored so i love it i love it how i love how i made it so i would say the most challenging part for me was uh separating the layers yeah that was quite challenging because the dough was getting hot and i had to do it with my bare hands so that was a bit challenging nevertheless we made it to the other side and we have the best outcome guys i also want to encourage everyone in whatever you do or something that you haven't you wanted to do for so long and you haven't done it this is the opportunity to do so there's nothing that is impossible under the sun everything is possible once you put your mind to it and once you focus and once you do the right thing so challenge yourself that one dish that you haven't made and you have always wanted to make this is the opportunity that whatever that you have always wanted to do that doesn't have to be uh, uh, just on the food issue there can be anything challenge yourself to do it and once you put your mind to it um, you are definitely going to achieve what you want to achieve so guys i'm super proud so um definitely be making this again i have some pockets which are left and they are frozen in the fridge and of course i have some samosas which will just be fried so we we'll enjoy this tomorrow in the morning uh, as our breakfast 
and yeah this is it not just to end the video here because the video is long enough i believe it's long enough for it to go up as it is so i just want to end the video i want to appreciate you for being here thank you for sticking from the beginning to the end and of course at this point i know i have already given you enough reason to subscribe to the channel so thank you so much for being here thank you for your time i do not take that for granted that one subscriber who always finds my content worthy of his or have subs worthy of his or her subscription i'm always always grateful so thank you allow me to see you on my next one if you can share the video i'll highly appreciate and just leave a comment i'll see you on my next one bye just want you to know how happy I am for you. I wish the best for you.